There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Right. We're gonna set the thing and then gotcha. Yes, as you suspected, these are the highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are the prime ingredient in the creation of Somnus, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into the sleep of death. Forgive me, I could not resist the jest. These herbs are not more than alithic lavender, a common enough export from Limsa Liminsa. Oh, he was just, he was just memeing. Okay. In fact, he's probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. I think someone has been having a bit of fun with you, son. But not to worry, you've learned a few things and made a new acquaintance. Well met. Cool. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's interact with the big crystal. All right, I big crystal of power. Give me methamphetamines. Yes. Well, I mean, did you know that Final Fantasy XIV has <laughs> a free trial up to level 60 and includes the award-winning expansion, the Heaven Sword? <laughs> I, I can't remember the copy pasta. <laughs> uh, no, um, send me more than a few of this way late. Who is it? Oh, it's okay. It's a big guy. I am Sun Himal. One of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Aetherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means of travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport. The most common transportation spells make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. As, and as these devices are found in almost every corner of Asia, any adventurer worth, worthy of the name will seek to out and attune himself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need for unseemly haste. The Aetherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about etherites or transportation magic, I will be here to answer your questions. Cool. Awesome. Really? There's not your plan in Canada? That's weird. You are tuned with etherite. You are now able to use the return spell. That's cool. Oh! That's it. <laughs> how, how do I pat? When they get to the free trial, really? That's weird. Um, how do I emotes? No, I don't give don't give me guilt, don't give me guilt, don't give me guilt. I don't I don't want money. Thank you though, I appreciate it. No! No! Um I'm trying to figure out how to fucking emote. Emote, there we go. Um There we go. Nah, it's all good. I appreciate it though. <laughs> uh, okay, where do we go? How do I open the map again? There it is. Um, Uh, listen to 
that guy. Swaz. Swaz Blit. Explain. Explanation of the markets. Okay. Um. I think that's this way. Yeah, this looks like it. Cool. There we go. Swaz Blit. Uh. I actually love your character's uh, glamour. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, a fine evening to you, sir. Welcome to the most replete marketplace in the grand realm of Aesia, where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders huh, born from all four corners of the world. Pray browse the stalls until your eyeballs ache from oogling the overabundance of an unbelievable bargains. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo, but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm? You bear a gift from Bataron. Whatever could, could it- Ah! My octant! By the navigator, I must have left it behind in the wench, along with a week's pay and several bells worth of intoxicated memories. <laughs> yes. You fucking alcoholic. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh kitty. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. I am most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid. What better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant? Okay. If it is if it is simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you need look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt, each gill you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. It goes without saying that Hawker's Alley boasts stalls specializing in the tools of every martial discipline imaginable. And within but a few steps are bazaars and apothecaries that will most amply supply all your potion and perishable needs. Our keen-eyed agents procure a frankly befuddling range of wares during their sojourns to distant shores, so it pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light or your time is short. Cool. Yes, he's like, yes! 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 Ah, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has never been the surest, has ever been the surest teacher. If not the kindest, I invite you to explore the markets for yourself. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's have a look at the shops. What we got? We got... Yep. What we got here? Iron Thunder. Hello. Show me your wares. Alright, cool. He's got lots of bits of armor and stuff. Cool. Awesome. Um, so I'm trying to fucking get rid of this thing. I love all the- uh, man, I love- honestly, I can't wait until we unlock glamours. I'm not gonna glamour until I've like beaten Realm Reborn. Just because I, I want to have that like visual, um, visual progression of your gear. Right, so like, like obviously as you progress further through the story and shit, you get cooler and like you get different looking stuff. I'd rather be able to see all the different stuff that I get, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Well, that's that's sort of like one of the things I really like about WoW, um, is or just like just like RPGs and MMOs in general is like the visual progression of your armor. Um, okay, cool. So that's okay. So we right. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. That's how you do it. Awesome. Okay. Um. Is that it? Oh, 
I mean, I'll probably unlock Glamours, but like, um, I won't do it. Only fans? I mean, you should see some of the photos Shazza has of her character. Whoo! <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> the fuck's this? Oh, it's Arcanus Guild? No. Oh, you've seen them? Really? Okay, yes, I can't do any of those. Um, so that's the fishing. I don't know where I'm going. Ah, uh, okay, fair, nice, cool. Um. I guess it's probably like the upper decks, maybe? I don't know. Uh, hold on, there we go. I did not mean to hide my chat window, but whatever. That's fine. There we go. Um, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> um <laughs> Um I wouldn't mind knowing where the um Marauders Guild is. I can't figure it out. I'm guessing it's in the upper deck. Alright, no worries. Yeah, I can't figure out how to use the map. Um. <laughs> Dick Goop? <laughs> yes, definitely. Dick Goop. I like it. Um. Hmm. Okay, yep, cool. So that was like down. Wasn't it back that way? Yeah. Oh, that's the way that I came from. So up here? Alright, sweet. Cheers, Shazza. Um... Hmm. Huh. Oh, bunny girls. Yes. Yes. Uh, wasn't 
about it. Okay, back to the culinary thing. Okay, I'll head there. Um... I'm going up. Uh, was it in here? So, this game is actually like so pretty, man. Holy shit. Look at that. So nice. Uh, oh, Ethan Crystal, yes. Sweet. It tunes all the crystals. <clears throat> ah, there you are. Nice. Ayaya! 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 Alright, this way. Ah, uh, yes. Finally. Pink cat girl. <laughs> okay, is this it? I'm guessing this is it. Let's have a look at the map. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. Cheers. Appreciate it heaps, Shazza. Thank you. Alright. Here we go. Ho oh, there, adventurer. Curious about the Marauder's Guild, are we? Any axe worth swinging needs two hands on the shaft and has a blade. What if it can make short work of a galley's mast? That's the kind of weapon our members train to use with deceptive swiftness and an all too predictable force. Are you interested in hearing more, lad? What? Then, why don't I give you the short version of the guild's founding history, and we can go from there. It all started with ships, you see. What, a, what have ships got to do with axes, you ask? Well, building them would be pl pretty bloody difficult without a sturdy tool to lop down trees for timber. And since once only the navigator herself knows when a ship will run afoul of a storm or worse, it makes sense for a cruise carpenter to carry an axe on board. Aye, it all started with ship building and ship repair. What, am I boring you? Hmm. As I was saying, any tool on a ship can become a weapon, and an axe was perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose in a whirl of steel, and generally laying waste all about ye. As more seafarers took up the axe as their weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of the marauder begin to take shape, especially among pirates, where strength and skill decided your place in the world. With an eye to assembling crews of battle-ready raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper way to wield a chopping blade to their new recruits, and that's how the marauder's guild first came to be. And once the Galanian Accord was signed to unite the Maelstrom and the pirates against Limbus's enemies, the whole game changed. The Accord itself was a dismal failure, of course, but the Marauder's Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured, and purged of its pirate elements. It had been reborn as an institution dedicated to naught but the teaching of axe fighting. The members of this new Marauder's Guild weren't no greed-driven cutthroats either. They were warriors who what sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. If mastering the axe is your heart's desire, then you'll find no better arena in which to practice your swings. Think it over, then let me know if you fancy joining our ranks. I have a feeling I'll be seeing more of you soon, lad. Now, sec. Let me. I was trying to. I was. Tr I tried to accept it, but it didn't 
do it. Maybe it's maybe because it's in the middle of the chat thing. Uh, there we go. Yes. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. You have decided to swing an axe with the Marauders then. I guess I'm gonna help edit your videos. Nice, man. How are you doing? Hey, Aphora, how's it going, man? How you doing? Uh, Blafora? Blafota? Blue? I don't, know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that. Wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Marauders Guild. Alright then. All that needs doing now is to speak with the Axe Master himself. Sounds simple. I've seen folks slink out the door rather than put themselves in the path of the unnerving glare. That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Wernzone's his name. Put some steel in your spine and look him straight in the eye when you talk to him, lad. Good fortune to you. <laughs> well, I figured it'd make more sense to actually play with people I know. Okay, uh, so we're gonna talk to this guy. Okay, cool. This guy's the guild master. Yes, I am Wormzon. Axe master, they call me. Not the most imaginative titles. I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. The act of the marauder is used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our adversaries. We seek to overwhelm them. A marauder must be the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield. We must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blothotta. But once more, shall I challenge your commitment? Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits an initiate of the Marauders Guild? Yes, I am prepared for carnage. I am adequately prepared for carnage. Also, thank you for following, man. I appreciate it, dude. Oh, we've already got an FC. The emo, the emo crew, emo gang. <laughs> Very well. Your name? Attend me well then, Axel. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own. Do we want to be bleeding a lot? Oh, you're on Phoenix Archer. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was I was gonna go with a role playing server, but I wanted to play with Shazza, so yeah. Uh, excuse me. Okay. You stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. You shall wade straight away into combat as befits a novice of your discipline, of our discipline. Go forth and slay the bleating, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa Laminsa. Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs shall be your pietous adversaries this day. Return to me once three of each creature creature have fallen to your blade. Very well. Army of fallen angels. <laughs> your emo army. Emo army. <laughs> All right, back to the drowning wench. Let's go. Did I get a um? Gotta love that PS5 loading time. <laughs> uh, that's wait, wait, which way? Uh, that's the way. Back to the drowning wench. Oh, yeah, I've got mail. Oh shit! I will uh, attend to that <laughs> at some point. Not in a rush. I need to. I need to tweak my UI. My UI is a bit all over the shop, but. 
Drowning Wench, yes. Yes. Is that a pet? Is that a... Okay. Oh, one of Garuda. Okay, that's a pet. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, off Castle Aetherite. Okay. There you go. Um, the Smith. Oh, didn't, didn't they say we should chat to the Smith? Greetings! I am one of the Smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you have but recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle. The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of mentor. Okay. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belt and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of the mentor's aid to enrich your experience in, in Aeosia. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures in Aeosia. Amongst Aeosia's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and a mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus. Oh, cool. Nice. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with mentors and share their experiences with other beginning players. Cool. It's nice to know. Awesome. Okay, let's have a chat to Old Mate Bataron. Noctis Stark. Oh, that's a sick. That's a sick name. Nice. Oh god, I'm gonna do Bataron's voice again. Shit. Hi there, you are, Axel. Enjoy your short round of the city, did you? If you mean to base yourself in Limsa Malaminsa, that won't be the last time you'll be visiting them three places. And now that we've got some ideas of what's where, you can start exploring the rest of the town. Yes. You have shown a great ear for listening, lad. Stick with old Baldon and you'll go far. Cool. Oh, so, so on his last name. Nice. Sick. That's right. Okay. Uh. Ah. Oh, okay. We need to be level four. All right then. Let's go do the way of the Marauder. Oh, okay, Leonhart. Right, okay, I get you. That makes sense. I mean, my character's kind of got the, uh, the squall scar across the nose, but, like, extends to his neck as well. Uh, okay, so... That's where we... Nah, we that. Go. Um, let's go out this way then, I guess. Got an achievement. Cool. Alright, here we go. Time to do our first bit of combat. Target again. That's right. What the fuck is that thing? Shit, Shazza. <laughs> oh, Shazza, show me your favorite mount. Get rid of these. 
Binding items. Yep. Your favorite uh, mounts. Favorite um, thing that you ride on. I like this one though. Oh, the Nimbus! Oh, dude! Oh, I want that so bad. Alright, let's go. Time to tank these motherfuckers. Nice. Little ladybug. Only 13 bucks? Oh, shit. Little primal ponies? Nice. Oh. Fuck it. Let's go. Attack! Jesus. Alright. Um. Alright, I need to kill Lost Lambs. Oh, alright. Bird healed. Oh, really? That's cool. Me a little ladybug. Let's party. There we go. Hey, Greasy. Uh, you do have a full day. We're about an hour and a half in. I've only just got into combat. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been fun just uh, doing all the voices and shit. Okay, Lost Lamb. Uh, this way? Yep. Oh, that's the sprint. Okay, cool. Nice. There we go. Lost Lamb. Let's do it. Good. Nice. Alright, little fuck. There we go. Sweet. Cross, yeah, it's, it's cross play. So uh, I'm playing on PS5. Jazz is on PC. Pretty sure. Really? It was a little bit letting me attack the sheep. Jesus. Alright, calm down, Shazler. We're only little lambs. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Let's, uh, actually, I can just. Return. Alright. Uh, which way is. Oh, it's off this way to go back to the guild. Yep. Oh, right, there's a lot of abilities in this game. <laughs> there is a lot. Um. All right, I could just I could teleport to this Ethernet. That's all right. Um, probably better to actually like get a hold of where everything is. Uh, I'm gonna quickly um, character configuration display. Um, what about numbers? Is that right? I think that's right. No, that's not it. Um. Hope I help, that's it. Yeah. Because it's kind of distracting when. Yeah, there we go. Cool, that's what we want. 
New WoW killer? Yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> new. <laughs> it's been out since like 2010. <laughs> but um, it's uh, becoming really big recently. Um, I'll just, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to learn in this game, but there's like, it's 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 like, uh, yeah. It feels like it's a lot more um, friendly to people who are like, getting into it, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you are returned to me, a different man. Already your face shows a harder cast, a realization of the slaughter of which you are capable. But there is much training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential. Learn well your lessons, build your strength, and make of each swing an instinctive act. <laughs> you shall have this hunting log to aid you in that endeavor. Its pages are marked with opponents suitable for honing your skills. There are, of course, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques, but when the way forward is not readily apparent, the log provides a reliable source of challenges. Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the Marauder Way. Implacable, relentless, such must be your momentum on both the practice grounds and the battlefield. The next Marauder Quest will be available from Orzen upon reaching level 5. Cool. Sweet! Hunting log obtained. Okay. Hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving- oh my god, my fucking nose. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Um, involving the slaying of certain creatures. Uh, yep, okay. Right. Okay, cool. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Ah, uh, nah, it's all good, Shaz. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um. Ganae seeks help with the growing problem in Limsa and Limsa. An alarming number of citizens have gone missing of late, though I suspect you've already heard the rumors. Wait, I should probably do a voice for this guy. Um. Get you a cat. Aw. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's alright. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find one for myself at some point. I'll find a very ayaya -ay -ay one. Okay! Um, an alarming number of citizens have gone missing of late, though I suspect you've already heard the rumours. It is essential that we ascertain their safety. To this end, I have prepared a list of basement reports from our citizens. Would you be so kind as to deliver it to my colleague in Bulwark Hall? Nadaleka is her name. My thanks in advance, friend. Right. <laughs> this gave me like a really bitchy voice. All right, the Bulwark Hall. Let's uh, let's figure out what that is. What about you? We need to get some XP, so I'm gonna just take quests when I can. Once you would like you to make a completely legal proposition. All right. Yeah, one to fair kind venture. How'd you fancy working for a Kraken's Arm, one of the greatest pirating crews of Limsa? If you're interested, take yourself up these steps to the balcony above and talk to Carvalain, our captain. Dare night by him, and you'll be right by E. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's like, that's kind of fucking. Oh my god. 